Hey guys, today I'm going to do an unboxing and a full review of the Sky RC IMAX B6 balance charger. So this is a 50 watt uh, balance charger with a max uh, current of up to 5 amps and this charger is mostly used for uh, charging LiPo batteries that are used in radio controlled helis or toys. But it also does charge other types of batteries such as uh, lithium ferrophosphate, um, there's a lithium ion, uh, nickel metal hydride nickel cadmium or a lead acid battery now some of the special features are uh, highlighted here and you can see that uh, it's got a microprocessor controlled uh, balance charger and it has a discharge feature and also it's got uh, the programming mode to store or load data and it can also charge the ferrophosphate uh, batteries and it's got a PC monitoring port where you can plug in a, a USB uh, link adapter and connect it to a PC to monitor the charging and it's got a temperature sensor port where you can attach an external sensor to monitor the outside temperature now let's not wait and just open the box and before that I'll show you the um, other side of the box where it highlights some of the features and you know, how to connect the uh, battery and the uh, input power source here and with some of the other uh, things that come along with this uh, unit so you can pause the video and just in case if you want to take a look at this box now let me just go ahead and open this box so straight away it comes with this manual and um, it seems to be fairly um, you know detailed in the instructions with uh, all the information and the things that are necessary to operate this uh, charger and this in english seems to be very good and next we have the unit itself now you can find a lot of imax b6 clones available in the market so you need to make sure you need to buy the one uh, that is genuine because they look very similar and the way you can identify which is genuine which is a uh, clone is by taking a look at the bottom of this uh, unit wherein you can see a hologram sticker here it's also got a scratch uh, you know, area wherein you can just scratch and get a code and you can enter this code in the SkyRC website to verify whether your unit is a genuine or a clone now it also comes with a bunch of uh, uh, cables here so I'll just keep this box aside so firstly this is the primary adapter for the output and this has got a 4mm banana plug here and the other side has a Dean's plug so we can connect this banana plug to the output sockets right here on the unit and use this side of the Dean's adapter to plug in any kind of other uh, cables that we get and the other end of this cable plugs in straight into the batteries so in addition to this uh, main output cable we also get this other additional cables there's a Futaba RX charging cable and this is the JST connector and this is the alligator clips and lastly we have the um, XT60 connector and the other end has the Dean's connector additionally we also get this input connector which has got a 5.5 mm plug adapter at one end and the other end has crocodile clip connectors now this plugs in straight into this input socket on the unit and the other end can be connected to a lead acid battery now alternatively you can also use a power adapter uh, rated up to 60 watts and 12 volts so it accepts DC voltage of 11 to 18 volts as input and its max charging power is uh, 50 watts and max discharge rate is uh, 5 watts and it can charge a battery with a current range of uh, uh, 0 0.1 amps to 5 amps which can be configured manually now it has also got a temperature uh, uh, sensor socket here that can be uh, used to 
uh, monitor the outside temperature of the uh, unit and also you can uh, connect a USB PC link right here to the same port and monitor the charging uh, parameters on a PC. Now on the other side we see that uh, you have this output ports which is a banana plug sockets and uh, you see a lot of uh, uh, balanced charging ports. Now if you have a LiPo battery like the one I have here uh, this is rated at 2200 hours, and uh, it's a 3 cell battery and these are the charging or the balance leads here. So this plugs in straight into these uh, balance charging ports. Now on the top we see a couple of uh, buttons and we see a LCD screen. So this is a 16 character uh, a two line display screen and down here are the buttons for uh, keying in the configuration and doing the operations. So let me go ahead and uh, turn on the power. So for this uh, demo I will be using uh, a power adapter. So I will also connect the XT60 adapter and then connect the battery. So as you can see I have already powered it on and it's currently showing me the program select mode and it's giving me the option to select the type of battery. Now currently it's showing as LiPo battery. I can cycle through the different types of battery by selecting the battery type button here. So to select a nickel metal hydride, this to select a nickel cadmium battery, this to select a lead acid battery. So I'll go ahead and select the LiPo battery. And click the start button here the enter button here sorry so then it lists me a uh, list of uh, uh, modes that are available within the lipo so it, this is a mode which is called lipo charge i can cycle through the different modes by using this decrement and increment buttons so there's a lipo balance mode there's a lipo fast charging mode the lipo storage lipo discharge lipo charge so for now, I'll go ahead and select this LiPo balance charging mode. So in this mode, uh, the individual cells um, voltage is being mon monitored and it charges evenly across the cells. And what you see here is the rate at which the battery needs to be charged and this can be configured. So I'll go ahead and then press enter. So as you can see, it's blinking and I can increment or decrement this value. 1 amp so I'll usually keep it at 1 amp um, so usually it's recommended to charge a lipo battery at uh, based on the C rating um, so usually the recommended um, no, rating uh, the charge rate is 1 C for a lipo battery so if it's rated uh, so this battery is rated uh, 2200 milliamps which is like 2.2 amps and uh, I can safely charge at that rate 2.2 amps but for now I'll just go ahead and use the 1 amp uh, uh, charge rate so I'll go ahead and enter I can also change the uh, total voltage here but 3s it needs to be 11.1 volts so I'll go ahead and press enter so once this is set to start charging the battery I'll have to hold this start button and uh, it starts detecting the uh, battery type so let me go ahead and do that so it has found that uh, this is a 3 cell uh, battery uh, the R means it is it has read from the battery that it's a 3 cell and uh, what I have entered is this which is also 3 cell so it's matching and it is now asking me to confirm that uh, this is right so if I don't do it within the given time that is around 10 seconds it goes back to the previous option or the menu. So let me go ahead and click the confirm button. Right so now it's started charging and as you can see the this is the 1 amp charging rate that I had entered and here you see that the voltage of the battery is around 11.53 volts and it also shows uh, the time lapsed since the charge has started and this is the number of amps being put into the battery um, this is in milliamps 
so it is already put around 13 milliamps into the battery now i can also get additional information on this uh, charging by pressing this increment and decrement uh, button so so now you can see that it's listing out the individual uh, cell voltages so the first cell is around 3.85 second around 3.84 and the third cell is around 3.84 volts so it also shows you the end voltage which is configured to be 12.6 volts for a three cell battery and once it reaches that voltage the charging stops at that moment and you can also see the input uh, voltage from this power adapter and this is rated around 12.13 volts now at any point of time if i need to stop charging then i can go and hit this stop button so that stops the charging process and it it's back to the main menu so it has got a couple of safety features built in wherein in case if you have entered uh, the information wrong on the number of cells or the voltage it automatically reads it from the battery and prevents you from uh, charging so one additional thing to note that this configuration that you enter here is different for every mode uh, for example there is a lipo charge mode wherein i have configured it to charge at uh, 0.1 amps and this for a one cell battery and this for the lipo balance mode wherein uh, i have configured it to charge at 1 amp for a three cell battery so every time you switch uh, across different modes you need to make sure that you have to configure the battery accordingly it would not remember your last configuration for a mode uh, for a different mode now additionally you have couple of other settings that you can access by going into the program menu uh, right here and you can set the voltage for the lipo battery which is 3.7 volts uh, these have been configured default values so i would like i wouldn't like to really mess around with these uh, settings so let's look at what else we can do with this settings option uh, there is some configuration with respect to check time for uh, these batteries and some of the sensitivity settings for nickel metal hydride and uh, nickel cadmium and uh, some of the temperature uh, settings for the uh, sensor that you can plug in right here capacity off and one uh, annoying thing with this um, unit is that it has this beep functionality every time you press a button uh, it really beeps so you can turn off uh, this beeping by going to this option and clicking this to the turning this off but i would like to keep this buzzer um, on because uh, it it really helps you know you to notify when in just in case if you um, enter any information wrong and it verifies that it's wrong it just beeps off so now you can see you don't hear that uh, um, beeping sound yeah so that was a very quick uh, unboxing and the review of the skyrc lipro balance charger and i hope uh, this video was useful to you just in case if you plan to buy one so in just in case if you like my video please do subscribe and uh, uh, hit that like button out there please do watch my other videos as well uh, i would be uploading videos usually um, over the weekends and uh, it would be mostly related to electronics and um, gadgets so thanks for watching this video and um, i wish you a very good day. Thank you.